Hey, what's up? It's Chris Hughes here, and in this video, I'm actually going to do a ClickFunnels review. And the date right now is August 7th, 2018, just so you know like that this is relatively up to date. If you're watching this later on, some things might be a little different, some things might be the same. Um, for the most part, this video is going to address a lot of the common questions that you might have about ClickFunnels and you know whether or not it's going to be something that's worth it for you and growing your actual business. So to start off with, this is the homepage that you're kind of given when you log in. Like This shows all of the funnels that you have. You'll see here I have a lot of different things because I built up a lot of different things in different niche markets. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you how simple it is to use and just kind of walk you through it so you can see whether or not this is a fit for you. You know, it might not be for everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the ClickFunnels thing here and it does a little drop down. And I'm just going to go to Build Funnel. And you'll see here this uh, Build a Funnel pop-up thing happens where there's a cookbook builder process. And what this is, is you'll be able to explore different types of funnels and pre-done funnels in this cookbook style process and find the right funnel for your business. And then there's also the classic funnel builder. And this is the original step-by-step -step builder that's super simple and giving a basic funnel uh, scaffolding fast. Select from lead, sales, or event funnels. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a lead generation funnel just to kind of show you how to collect emails. So I'm going to use the classic funnel builder in this case. Uh, there's a lot of other templates within the cookbook builder process and I'll show that to you maybe later on in this video. But to start off we're just going to click create new funnel. You'll see here what is the goal of this funnel? So right off the bat, you're seeing that it, it's going to kind of, it's going to basically use a funnel to help you with creating the ideal uh, sales funnel for you. So what's the goal? Collect emails, you know, whether this is to build a new email list and build an engaging email list, which that's what I'm going to actually do right now. The next thing is to sell a product. So if you're into like e-commerce or something, then this is what you're going to select. Or if you're doing, you know, hosting a webinar, maybe you're building up an audience and you're going to sell people through webinar. In this case, I'm just going to use collect emails. So I'm going to click choose example funnel for lead generation. And you'll notice here you can just name it. And what this is going to do is going to create two funnel steps. One is going to be the email landing page and two is going to be a thank you or, or download page. Uh, all you got to do next is click build funnel. If you have questions, watch explainer video. So ClickFunnels does a great job of kind of providing support for all of these questions and things that you'll have so that when you actually do have issues and things like that, there is, uh, there's a lot of tutorials, little videos that answer these questions for you. So what you'll notice here is the title up here, example funnel four, and that's what I named it. You'll see here on the side, there's two steps, opt-in and a thank you form. So the opt-in page, this is where you're going to be, you know, providing something of value, like basically like building up curiosity for your lead. So you're getting their email address in exchange for something, whether it's like a video, a PDF, a free download, a coupon, depends on what business you're in. In this case, I'm just going to walk you through. I'm not going to give examples of everything because that would be crazy. So these are actual templates that uh, ClickFunnels has created for us so that we don't have to spend you know hours building up different websites and templates for everything. So right now you'll see opt-in, sales, webinar, uh, membership, affiliates, click pop, and mis miscellaneous. So we're not going to click any of those yet. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So to start off with, I'm going to click, I really like these clean opt-ins, this super clean opt-in. It works really well for me for whatever reason, like it's just a simple way to get uh, high converting leads. And you can hover over this and click preview. And what'll happen is it'll pop open a new video and it'll load the template so you can kind of see what it looks like prior to choosing it. So I do like the look of it, but I'm gonna show you another one just so you can you know, see that there's a lot of options. So this one, Local Marketing Masters. Local Marketing Made Easy with our new advert adverting <laughs> campaigns. Um, so we're going to close this, and I'm going to go back to that super clean opt-in. All you got to do is select template. You'll see here it's you know creating the page for you. 
And they make this really simple. Like there's, you know, there's not a lot of distractions here. There are, you know, a good amount of buttons, but you'll see here the one that stands out, edit page, which is what you want to do. So in this case, I clicked edit page and you'll see here, uh, when I hover over this, it creates a little box. And what that means is I can click the box and then I can edit this. See this? I'm editing. <laughs> and all you gotta do is, you know, click outside of the box to close that. Um, other things you can do when you hover over it and you get these orange boxes, if you click this little plus button, the add new element, it'll bring in this sidebar. And here's different things that you can add to this page, like uh, headlines, subheadlines, different paragraphs, bullet lists. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna click bullet list to show you what that looks like. And you'll see here there's, you know, benefit, our products are delivered immediately, feature, explain the benefit of your products, icon, and they make this really easy to change stuff. You hit the little gear button and you can go to like themes and you can change the colors of the buttons or let's see, we'll go to advanced and you can even change like the icons. So that's a little checkbox. You can change that to like a little Android dude or a little peace sign, down arrows. Like there's a bunch of stuff that you can do just for that. Uh, next thing, we'll go to add new element. You can add an image. So we'll click on that and then you see image. And what you can do is click here and they actually allow you to upload your own images or you can go to search and this will search through Pixabay. So in this case, I'm gonna type in pizza cause it's almost lunchtime and I'm getting hungry. So <laughs> look at these, this populates a bunch of different images so that you can upload them. This guy looks pretty cool. All you gotta do is click on the image and then click add image. And look at that, it's you know added to the page. And let's say you don't like something. So I don't like these boxes, the, uh, the benefit feature icon. Hover over it, when it turns orange, you go up to the top right where there's the little trash can, and you delete it. And you just click on okay. Uh, one problem with ClickFunnels is if you do delete something, there's no undo button, so you gotta be careful, but that's why they do have the pop-up that says, are you sure you want to delete this element? So keep that in mind. Um, another cool thing about this, if you wanna have two pictures, you can you know clone this and you'll have another picture. And just like before, if you wanna change the picture, you can use another picture of pizza, like we'll put this guy in there. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at how simple that is. And you can do the same thing with adding videos. You know, you do that and then you click on the image, and you go to settings, and then you can embed videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, uh, Easy Video Suite, HTML5 video. And it's very easy to do this. Um, like I'll click YouTube. I'm actually just gonna go to YouTube and pick one of the first videos that shows up there just to show you. So I'm going to right click and copy link address and I'll paste that video in here and click back onto the page. And what I'll do, I'll save this. And what you'll notice is SEO metadata. So this is the stuff that uh, like basically Google and Bing and the search engines are gonna see. So you'll see here title, so I love pizza, example, landing page. You could change like keywords. So we'll put pizza and put like lunch. Author, I can change this to Chris Hughes and you can add a social image. And with that, we'll do the same thing. We'll put a little pizza in there again. We'll do the sign. How about that one? Add image. Okay, so then you'll see here, SEO preview, I love pizza, example landing page, description for your awesome landing page, yourwebsite.com, uh, Chris Hughes. And this stuff is all changeable, like you can see. Um, okay, so that's just kind of an overview of how this works. Once that's done, you can click save. And if you go to preview, it'll open a pop-up and you'll see where I put that video. Guess what, that'll show there. Look how cool that is. 
so that was very simple to do and you can actually uh, if you hover around the green part I think the greens the most outside spot and you click plus you can actually create like a full width or a small one or medium wide whatever it happens to look like and also the button up here desktop or mobile so you can see what it looks like on both before you actually publish so go back to desktop and you'll see here this is that uh, column I guess is section that I just created you'll see add new row so you can have one column two columns three columns four you have sidebars so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a two column thing and I'm gonna move move some stuff so we'll have this pizza guy I'll, I'll click on it and then drag it you know just like drag and drop that you're used to and you'll see that little gr uh, orange bar I almost said green that orange bar look uh, just move down we'll also do uh, you can use the move icon if you're more comfortable with that and we'll put that down here whoops that didn't work why is that not working see sometimes this is a sometimes this happens we'll see if this works better huh doesn't seem to be working Okay, so we'll copy, uh, and this is this is part of technology. Sometimes things don't work, uh, you, and it's just simply like doing the extra step. So we'll delete this part because we already have it down below. We'll save it again, and then we'll preview it, and you'll notice it's different. It's like the pizza guy's here and the video's over here. So, look, look, I mean, that's it's very simple to do. It's very easy to do this kind of stuff. Um, integrating it with your email autoresponder is actually really simple too. You'll go to settings and then integrations and you'll uh, basically like integration, click whichever one you have. And then I have market hero that I use uh, tag lead. And then you can, you know, of course add it to the relevant list and then it automatically syncs up. Like when someone opts in here, it'll submit the page and then it'll redirect over to your uh, email autoresponder series. So we'll save. I always save things before I leave the page. It's just have it something that you should also do just in case something goes wrong. Okay, so people opt in to basically get pizza because this is not like an actual sales funnel to use. Um, what's next? Well, they go to a thank you page. And what's actually cool about this is if you don't want to automatically send someone to a thank you page, you can click on add new step. And let's say, well, sales page. We'll label this sales page, create funnel step. And you'll see what happens is over on the left, the sales page is formed. In the left here, the order, so the funnel steps, opt-in, that's the first page. Right now that goes to the thank you page and then a sales page. You can click it and hold and then drag to redirect the order. So when someone opts in, now they're going to go to a sales page. And on this particular thing, what we'll do is we'll go to sales and we'll type in, not type in, <laughs> we'll, we'll click on sales page. And you'll see here it automatically populates a couple other sales things. And what we'll do is we'll find, how about this? And again, you can click preview to see things. I'm just going to select this template. And then once again, editing page, all you'll do is click on edit page and you can create like a little sales thing. How one pizza got over 10K in profits within just three days. Look at that pizza. <laughs> this will redirect people to the next page so you can have uh, like webinar playing TU upsell. We'll save that and we'll preview. And then they have some default videos that are in place. Uh, you'll, of course, change these when you have your thing set up. And you can see here, yes, I want to use these techniques in my own business. Click here to order now. And then right now, we'll go to, we'll save this. We'll go back. It's the sales page. Add new step. Sales order form. And you can see just how easy this is. Like it's the same process. You just drag something up, go to sales, go to order form. And you can click this one. 
and you'll see here products. So this is where you'll actually put in the products that are for sale. All you gotta do is add product, put like one large pizza. And this syncs right up to your Stripe account. So that way, you know, it, it works very simply. It's very seamless. Uh, amount will charge $19.97, just cause why not? Uh, you can change the price display on the order form. You can have this turn into a subscription or a one-time payment. Product description, pizza for sale, and then create product. You can also change fulfillment email. So once someone orders, you can have this, this email will automatically go out to let people know and give them access to the thank you page. Uh, email integration, once again, this is where you'll integrate with your uh, autoresponder. Shipping, if you do shipping for things, you can integrate with Kunaki and Disk Delivered. Not sure what that is. I haven't done that. Um, you can also add this as an affiliate offer so other people can sell it for you. Once that, just uh, create product. Oh, apparently it didn't work. So 1997, because I didn't save these things. We'll create product. So you'll see here one large pizza is for purchase and we'll visit the funnel URL to see what that looks like. So this is the first page, you'll opt in. How one pizza got this, we'll uh, click to order now. It'll redirect to the sales thing. You'll see here one large pizza 1997. So right there, you just created a sales funnel for pizza. <laughs> like, and of course you'll do this differently for your business. Uh, the next thing is thank you page. So this is where you'll actually deliver the product. Like if it's an ebook, we're gonna select this template and just show you how an ebook would work. So we'll edit page again. And the content in here, like this is a button, you can click on here and you'll see here button text. So you can change this. Thanks for watching. Um, in all of this, like if you have delivery, you can edit action, and then you can go to website URL. If you have a uh, specific site set up for the delivery, or um, like if you're using Amazon hosting to deliver an ebook or something, then that's where someone can immediately click and download something. But it's so easy to do. It's very simple, and they have. Thank you, Paige Pizza. And they always ask you to do the SEO metadata, so always do that. And make sure it actually makes sense, not just typing in pizza over and over again. So we'll go back. And that was just kind of a, an example of how easy it is to make the funnel. And another thing is with these uh, opt-in pages, you can create a split test. And it all starts with this button here, Create Variation. So you can create duplicate page from the opt-in or you can choose a different template. Uh, I'm just gonna create duplicate page from the opt-in and you'll see this little bar here. 100% of traffic goes to this one right now, 0% to this. So ideally we'll do a 50-50 split and then apply changes. And in this case, you do want to be split testing things because you know, just basic numbers. If something improves your conversion rate by like three to 5%, that could be a significant boost in sales for your business. And you'll see once again, how easy this is. Like pizza is great, right? And you know, save. And this is the second part of the opt-in. So this is just another example of uh, testing a page and what'll happen is every time someone goes to this page it'll rotate it'll split 50% of the traffic will go to this one 50% will go to this one and over time you'll have stats in this dashboard area here and this will say click the little drop down and the control will have you know 100 visitors the variation will have 100 visitors and you'll have opt-in numbers that you can you know, see which one's performing better. And if one is performing significantly better than the other, you know, you should change the traffic to go towards the better one. And then the next step is to try to beat the, uh, the control, the one that works best. Okay, you can even create uh, members areas for this. I'm gonna show you one that I've created. Let me see, where is this? I have a lot of 
funnels in here. Beginner's Guide Membership. So this is something that I've done. So you can see firsthand that I'm actually using this service. And we'll go to Membership Area. And I will open it up so you can see how it looks. Whoops, is that not the right? Maybe I have to go to preview. I'm sorry about that. Oh, so this is going all the way back to the beginning. So this is the opt-in page for this particular uh, members area. We'll go to opt-in editor. And you can see um, this is the general layout right now for what they give you. And just like before, you can you know add new things. You can add images, text blocks, drop down menus, um, custom stuff, surveys, all of these things very easily. We'll go to preview. And you'll see here uh, how it's set up. So you got dashboard support, logouts, first section, there's some downloads, how to make money with affiliate marketing for beginners, stream income spreadsheets. Uh, this is one of the things that I share with uh, my members are this kind of stuff. But you'll see just how, you know, it's a very simple layout. Like there's modules on the left and the content on the right, just so you can see it and you can consume this content. It makes it very easy to create members areas. So if you are planning on having that as part of your business, you know, Mem membership areas on ClickFunnels are very easy to set up. Um, okay, what's next? We'll go into the affiliate uh, portion of this. So I'm going to click on affiliates and just show you what they offer. So one thing that's really cool about ClickFunnels is that it's a recurring payment. So you'll see here I, I just had a $38.80 payout. Uh, what that means is somebody signed on at the $97 level and I get I think it's 40% commission, so $38.80. And the good thing about that is with affiliate marketing, if you can work with affiliate networks that pay a recurring income, it sort of is like job security where you have a predictable income coming in. So keep that in mind. Like This is an, an offer that I do recommend promoting. Um, so you'll see here they have it broken down, recurring revenue metrics, lifetime value, how many people are trialing, the churn, which is basically like burn rate, uh, types of plans that people are on, and they have a ton of products for us to promote. So you'll see here there's a free book, another free book, uh, a test of another free book, free book, free book. Um, like they are constantly adding new things in here. So that way you have new things to promote to your list so that you can, you know, turn more people into ClickFunnels users and people who consume the content. One of my favorite things that they actually offer, I'm going to click here, affiliate tools, is the affiliate boot camp. And it's 100 days. Where is it? Okay, so affiliate boot camp. And what this is is tutorials so daily videos to basically show you how you can use the ClickFunnels affiliate program to retire in 100 days if you you know do all this stuff and what's cool about this is it doesn't just teach you how to do this for ClickFunnels you can take the stuff that's in the training and apply it to any business when it comes to affiliate marketing so I do highly recommend picking that up it's free a bunch of free stuff I'm gonna actually link to this down below as well uh, what else do we have to go over? The support. Okay, so recently, ClickFunnels actually, I think two days ago, they just upped their support. They just changed support. And what's awesome about that is they made it really easy. So if you have a question, you click on Get Help, and you ask your question. It'd be like, my leads are lost. Oh, okay, so eight more characters. Where did they go? And we'll click continue and look at this. Do these solutions help? They automatically give you uh, answers to some things. And if something doesn't work, they'll have someone step in and kind of answer the question for you and help you out with fixing the things that are issues. Okay, so it can't always be good. I mean, there's got to be some cons to this too, right? Yes, that's absolutely true. The first thing is... 
a lot of people get down on the price point because it's the starting level is $97 a month. And you'll see here, I have the full suite, the $297 a month. And the reason that this costs this much, the, the full suite is actually really valuable because it comes with ActionX, which is an email uh, autoresponder series for you, as well as Backpack, which allows you to have affiliates uh, for your particular products. But the price point, you know, that being a con for someone, it's less than $100, you have access to an entire website building software that also allows you to collect leads and make sales. So if that's an, an immediate issue right now, what you can do is you can set up a landing page or a sales funnel to sell something that turns into a recurring $100 a month for you. That way you can automate the, you know, you basically create an asset that covers the liability. And that's how I like to look at everything when it comes to running a business. How can you create the income to cover the cost of the expense? So if $100 seems like a lot, you know, create something or come up with an investment that gives you a return of $100 a month. It's not that hard to do. It just takes work. Um, the next thing, sometimes people think that the landing pages look a little scammy or a little spammy. And I'm going to show you some of those just so you can see. And this is, I mean, it's internet marketing. It's marketing online. So we're going to create from template. And this is just personal you know, you might think something doesn't look good, but what's cool about ClickFunnels is they've done a lot of testing and they're giving us these uh, things that have worked well for others. Like this one looks kind of scammy, this testimonial opt-in pro, but it's worth testing. I always say, you know, test something. If you think something's not going to work, test it against what you are doing and see which performs better and then go with the one that works better. Uh, some of these look really good. Like I love these clean ones. They're very easy. This kind looks a little scammy, but you know, it, you can't tell until you test. So always, always, always test something. And you'll see how you can become a cash money machine. And this is just a template. You can edit all of this stuff, just like I showed you earlier in the video. Um, but I mean, test these things, find out if they are going to perform better or not. And then, you know, find out for yourself. If you don't like something, test it, see if it works. Maybe the thing you don't like works really well in the market that you're playing in. So as I said, just test. It's always, it's always about testing, always about tweaking, always about making, uh, just making up stuff and then seeing what works and what doesn't and doing more of the stuff that works. So that's pretty much it for the Oh, another con, the support system, it used to take a long time to get responses. It would often be like 24 hours or more. But over the last year, they've, they've significantly cut down the time it takes for responses and the support people that they do have now. Uh, they've sent me like video tutorials on like, for me, I'm like, where do I click? Like, what buttons do I do? And their support people shot videos specifically for me within the funnel so that I could see what I needed to do and what I was doing wrong so I could fix it. So they've really stepped their game up with that. Um, but that's it for this video. If you want to get a free 14 day trial of ClickFunnels, I'm going to give you a link for that. I'm going to actually show you what that page will look like. So you're familiar with it when you get redirected to it. And the link for that's going to be down below. And I'm actually going to include some bonuses down below too. So we'll go to this and I'm going to do, we'll do a ClickFunnels trial. And I'm just going to show you what that's going to look like so that you know um, what to do basically. <laughs> okay. So here's the page that you're going to go to next. And I want you to watch this video, like click the play button and then take the short quiz to find out which funnel will work best for your business. Uh, this is going to make a huge difference going forward as like, by being specific about what kind of business you're in and what you are going to be using ClickFunnels for. This is custom built so that way it answers questions and gives you specifics to your particular business. So you'll go through and you'll answer, you know, if you're in e-com, uh, in this case, if they ask where you heard about it from a friend, which is me, Chris Hughes, so you'll click that. 
and then you'll answer these questions and you'll follow through with this and then claim your trial. If you have questions, you can feel free to ask them down below in the comment section here and I'll answer them. I'll even shoot you a video if you need to. And I'm going to include other bonuses down there. I'm going to actually give you a couple of funnels that I've got created that you know you can just kind of steal. Like you can import them directly into your account and start using them. Thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and more trainings and more helpful advice to help you grow a business and life you love. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.